let's start with the most recent claims that Bigman made. And here's a direct quote, Lane. Keep insulin low and control seed oils and fat cells can stay smaller and healthier. Keep the insulin low and control the seed oils and fat cells can stay smaller and healthier. Give me a very quick soundbite. What's your initial reaction to that? This is like two truths and a lie, or sorry, a truth and two lies, basically. So he said, you know, small adipocytes are still metabolically healthy. So you're better off at the same fat mass, and I I don't want to, I'm probably not going to get the quote exactly right, but at the same fat mass, you're better off having more smaller fat cells than you are smaller number of large fat cells. And two things control that. Uh, Linoleic acid, which is from seed oils, and uh, insulin. There are two variables, chronically elevated insulin and linoleic acid, the primary polyunsaturated fat from seed oils. Both of these molecules through two totally different mechanisms will push fat cells to go from hyperplasia, which is small but more abundant, to few and large. Now, uh, I couldn't really find (laughs) much evidence other than some really weak mechanistic evidence on linoleic acid. And as far as insulin goes, um, yeah, it's, it's well known that insulin can drive free fatty acids into adipocytes. However, we're, I'll, I'll discuss why that doesn't really matter outside the context of energy balance. Now, what I found really disingenuous about what he was saying is he's speaking as if, if you're going to gain fat, you're better off having hyperplasia than hypertrophy. Right. Okay. There is absolutely no, first off, we don't even know if hyperplasia happens in adult humans. We suspect that it may in very obese people and possibly even people who go through periods of yo-yo dieting. But there's like the idea that you can control whether or not you have hypertrophy versus hyperplasia. There is absolutely no evidence to suggest that you can kind of choose the way you get fat. Like that's Mm -hmm. quite frankly ridiculous. Um, and as far as the whole, you know, insulin, um, goes, it, w- this is the problem with people who pick out mechanistic data and use this to drive a narrative. You can literally find a mechanism for anything to prove whatever you want, because mechanisms are only small parts of the story. The summation of all the mechanisms is shows up as human outcome data. So let's just look at the human outcome data because we have trials where they equate calories and protein and vary the amount of carbohydrate and fat and very conclusively show that there's no difference in fat loss or fat gain from overfeeding or underfeeding carbohydrate versus fat. So who cares about like one mechanism out of thousands?